Hey y'all, welcome to day 19 of April Diamonds. I am Shy and Second Life, and today we are at Encilico. I'm gonna be showing you guys around some of my favorite spots here. So let's do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So y'all, I was going for uh, like some type of combat realness going on, you know, I don't know. This was the best I could do. We're very, very simple with the accessories today. Just some platinum earrings and just the, re the rest of my regular um, jewelry. Then we have a little shoe action going on. We in flats today. I know y'all surprised. I know y'all surprised. I started down in heels. I said the heels not gonna work. They just not gonna work. So this is the full outfit. So let's go ahead and continue. So y'all, this is actually the first um, spot that I wanted to show y'all. This is option three when you come into like the main area. I don't wanna call them floors because I, I, I'm just gonna say option three. When you come here, you'll understand that. So I thought this was super nice. I love how they have like a real futuristic, techy, cyborg kind of, this is where the future is headed type um, style. I love this robot with the little jetpack BBL. I think that is like super funny. There is a completely naked hologram lady. Well, she has on underwear behind me. I'm gonna blur her out if she comes into view. But I felt like this spot was super cute to start out with because they have like, it's like a bar. Well, it is a bar. And so everything is like this really pretty blue. It's like a scion type blue. Now, I am not going to lie. In the Black Dragon viewer, OMG, this space pops. It really, truly pops in the um, Black Dragon viewer. But... I haven't gone to Black Dragon in a minute. I don't know if they fixed a lot of the graphic issues that I was having with them um, on my end. It could it could be my computer. It's the gaming computer, but that don't mean it can't be my computer. Y'all, I saw a video and they said they closing down Blueberry. They is, y'all. They closing down Blueberry. They is. I'm telling y'all, they is. But no, um, I have not shopped at Blueberry, Blueberry in a very long time. But let me tell you something. If they are indeed closing and they have like a going away sale, when I tell you I'm going to be the first person there singing boys to men, it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Because let me tell you, I always love their jeans. I always love their jeans. But I haven't been to them in a while. It has been a while. Look how dope this is. Every time I come here, I'm like, I want to live here. I want to be here forever. So y'all, this is another one of my favorite spots. Um... It really gives me like that manager worker type feel where like a lot of managers, they want to have that like larger than life authoritative type feel over you. Very intimidating. But at the same time, it's like you have to be mindful of the fact that y'all are one and the same. Because if this boss like figure gets down, he's the exact same size as the employee, maybe even a little smaller. But when he's in that whole robot suit or armor, it just, he looks larger than life. And I feel like that speaks volumes on a lot of times how bosses will try to make it seem like, like I'm up here and you're down there. And I don't, I don't like that. So this kind of gave me like a campsite or like a tent city type vibe. The art here is amazing the colors amazing just everything is so nice and it just pops i love how they intertwine like the grunge with the futuristic aspects of it and i'm the type of person where i see stuff like this and i'm like is this far-fetched i don't know i don't know could we could, could we come across a time where things would be like this possibly and I'm not even gonna say that it would be a time where I wouldn't live to see it. The way things are going, it's very possible. So this is like another space. This space, it really got me in my emotions because it's like, it's a bunch of tents out here. And so it's like, if this was in real life, this would be a safe space for homeless people to live just in this space with all of this wreckage all of this trash trash cans with you know fire to keep everybody warm and it's like the only reason why this would be the safest space is because there are no people here there are no other people than the people that live in here 
And it made me kind of sad to kind of come to that realization because people really are like, they can really be awful, especially to homeless people. And so when I saw that space, I'm like, dang, it's crazy because even though it's all of that wreckage and it's all of those um, like car parts and things like that, like that's literally the safest space for them because they're not around humans. They're not around humans that are not homeless. This is another really nice um, art piece. And I'll tell you, I love the colors that they incorporate into these spaces. Like I said, they have a way of making everything so futuristic, yet modern at the same time with a flair of grunge. So when you come to Encilico, this is going to be your um, landing point. So these are all the different number options that you can go to to see all different types of things and each number you can access all of these different numbers but it, it gets a little confusing so you might want to just take the separate number tps but right now we're going to nine so this spot i love because look at it it's so just everything is so white and i feel like i love the contrast between the outside of this space and then the inside of this space because everything on the outer part is black but i really really i really really like how they did this space um very very techy lots of different like rooms that you could go into they have different floors and things like that so so many like dope things to look at just everything well not everything but a lot of things have like animations this land is awesome for pictures if you want to do like some type of like a futuristic photo shoot this is going to be the place for you in my opinion just about everything you can have some type of um interaction with and i think it's awesome hours when i tell you hours i spent on this land and was not bored not one bit i love this land as a whole it is absolutely amazing when i came here i thought the land had not been here very long this land has been here for a very long time this is a community so if you wanted to live here you can live here now don't give me the lion i'm still a little confused on how the rental options work because it comes off as i don't know why i was just walking in the sky but it kind of comes off as it doesn't take like you don't pay tears it's almost like you gain points from being interactive on the land once you join the group they have all of the information that you does she have some look at look at look at sis sis said got them reds on okay um they give you all the information on how to join the land and how to be in the community and everything when you first land down they show you um they give you all of that information so all of these spots that I found, I actually just came across them just from venturing around this land. And that's the reason why it's difficult for me to kind of give you the numbers that I'm on. So it's like you can start at level three or option three that I was on. And then if you go down a flight of stairs, you won't be on three anymore. You might be on seven. And so it's not necessarily in numerical order um, as far as like the different levels. So that's the reason why it's kind of difficult for me to give you the exact numbers that I'm on. So I just kind of start at one floor and move around from that floor. So feel free to do that as well. So let's go ahead and take the elevator. And we're just going to go up. So now we're on the level above where we were. And when I tell you this land is amazing, I absolutely love all of the details of it. I love how the this build or this part is majority white, but then they'll add like these pretty yellow flowers and then they'll have like orange um just accents and things like that so although the build is majority white they add these little pops of color that just makes it so much more vibrant and so much more lively it doesn't have such a sterile feel to it like a lot of spaces that might be completely white will have to them just everything is so just techy 
and just so sci-fi and I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm telling you, I had to narrow it down to just a couple spots because otherwise this video would be longer than any other video that I've ever posted ever on um my channel this land was i don't know if i said it before but this land is the first land that i believe i um visited when i started like consistently making second life content so i if you go through my like videos and things like that i kind of dabbled here dabbled there with my second life content just kind of like giving like a little hmm let's see if I want to do this but I was doing it in a very different way it was almost like I didn't want people to know that I was on second life um almost like I wanted it to be perfect where it kind of gave like a movie feel and I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that however I really wanted people to explore it and be able to what's the word that i'm looking for experience it the way that i do and so on accident because i simply was running out of time one day i was like you know what i'm not gonna go through trying to make it all perfect i'm just gonna walk through with it i'm just gonna walk through it with y'all and when i tell you everybody was so receptive to that form of me showing y'all second life and so i've been doing it like that ever since there is a space for everyone and i'm so glad that i found you guys and i'm so glad that you guys found me i've sat and wandered around this land on so many different occasions um outside of the time that i've actually um when i created my video here and it seems like every time I come here, I find a different spot and a different space that I didn't know existed before. So I do know that some of these are actual like teleporters that will teleport you to like secret combat spaces. I'm using air quotes like y'all can see me, but let's just say y'all can. So they're like secret um, spaces that you can access that are just like combat zones. So this is one of them. Now, I've never come and actually seen combat going on, but I think it's super smart the way that they did it. So it's like, uh, it's like, if you know, you know, type thing. It's not a space for everyone to be able to access. It is definitely a space for people who are going to be doing combat to access. Um, however, there are, there's nobody here at the current moment. Well, not that I see. Um, so I just want to we'll venture around here a little bit. There's never going to be a corner that you're going to turn down. You'd be like, oh, no, I don't really like this. You know, it's just not going to be like that. Um, another thing, I really appreciate um, the comments on the video that I posted on things to hold where I was just I didn't feel burnt out, but I did feel overwhelmed because I did start this idea late. Like I thought of it the day before April 1st to do a video every day. And so I, I, I wasn't properly prepared for it for lack of a better, well, no, that's, that's what it was. I wasn't properly prepared for it. So I found myself kind of some days I'm not posting at the times that I should post or the times that I want to post. I'm still getting a video out um, where there are going to be 30 videos, but it's not. It might be two videos that come out on the 7th or two videos that come out on the 19th because the video for the 18th then post till midnight on the 19th. Baby Jen and Solarian Star, I really thank you and appreciate you um, for leaving your kind words. When I tell you the family, the just community that we are creating, I am beyond ecstatic, beyond blown away at what we are creating and what you guys are allowing me to continue to be able to create with y'all. I'm just, I'm so thankful and so very grateful. So now we're at option 11. And when I tell y'all, it's, it's the futuristic cars with the spaceship for me. I say, listen, if we're going to be going in this 
space in the future. I, I want a spaceship. This one specifically is it, it, this one. It, it's let me let me get the cherry red convertible, the the cherry red drop top. What it do? Absolutely. I, I would like that. I, I really really would. And then we got the little robot with the BBL jetpack. Okay, if this is the space that BBLs are going into, holy smokes, it's gonna be crazy. A, a very wild ride indeed. So he doing what he need to do to get the work done. Okay, I know that's right. They said, y'all don't wanna work? We'll get a robot to do it and do and must. Go ahead. Cause ain't nobody interested in working an hour for $8.75, you, 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 that's an hour of my life, all right? It's worth more than that, because if I wasn't working, you wouldn't have no business, but that's a whole nother video. So this space is super nice. I really, really like it. I love all these spaces, all these spaces. I love that you could pan up and everything you see is gonna be incredible. I don't know how long it took them to get this land together, but when I tell you, I know it took some time. I know it took some time because you can't come up with this stuff in a day. A lot of these things, I'm convinced that they made themselves because it's just like, it's it's no way you, somebody created this and you bought this, but it's, it's very, very possible in Second Life that someone created this, you know, and they were able to buy it. But I just feel like it's so perfect for this space it just gives me the vibes of okay she she got the red ones on as well the the what what was the red and black jordans i don't know i ain't never owned a pair of jordans in my life i be listen i'm trying to tell you I'm trying to tell you i, I never did but I, I i saw them before so oh oh okay see you see how you clicking on stuff and it take you places? Now, I, I didn't even know. I didn't know about, I knew that they had the teleporters to the other place, but I didn't know where the teleporters were. I, so this is another baby. I don't know where. It's like I'm inside the motherboard. That's what it's giving. It's giving inside the motherboard. I love it. Look at that. I be geeked out over things like this. I think this is super awesome. So super nice. I don't know how to get up out of here. Did it put me back? Found it. Okay. I know I did that. And see, this is the beauty of clicking stuff. Y'all, I feel like this video is gonna be long. I think I've done too much venturing around. You can, you can never do too much venturing around. Let me just put that out there. But there's so many things I want to show y'all. It was so difficult to narrow it down to just a couple things. This is like a little industrial spot that they have where they have like shipping containers and things like that that I really liked. It's, the, it's just the whole vibe of this land that just really, it blew me away. Every, every single time I come here, it just blows me away. Y'all, I, I, done, I done double clicked all around. I don't know what level this is. When, when I tell you, you have to venture around this space. You're gonna get lost and then you're gonna find your way again and then you're gonna get lost again and it's all gonna be a beautiful, magnificent, galactic ride all of these i don't know what these are but i like them i like them a lot look at this look at this amazing absolutely amazing they created spaces where People probably don't even have access to these spaces. It's just like a while you're on this level, if you look down, this is what you'll see. I actually think we were over here though. I am getting like a little hoarse. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's the weather change or what, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Y'all, so 
if you go to level three and over the bridge you'll get to one side of this but not this side of this this is on the other side of this tunnel listen if i had to get lost and find it you have to do it too so how awesome is this this is like the space portal in my opinion once again this is one of my favorite spot every spot is one of my favorite spots but i really really like how futuristic this looks because it's like all of these big huge pipes and just everything is so like this is where the spaceships come in and come through and things like that Side note, and I know I'm probably showing my age. I know I'm showing my age with this, but I, I promise you I don't care. For those that remember, y'all remember that uh, SWV song, Downtown? It was, Downtown, that's the way to my love. Take it round and round. Ooh, you can't stop till you find my love. Oh, Downtown. We were way too young to be singing that. That was absolutely about fellatio absolutely about fellatio i did not know that i did not know that you can't tell me nothing with my overalls on singing fwv's downtown that was so many inappropriate songs that we sung but we just it, we had no business absolutely no business it's 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 crazy it's absolutely crazy how innocent our minds were where we just was like it's a good beat i like the video on on bt and so you sung the song and just had absolutely no real clue as to what you were singing but anywho so you guys this is in silico these were some of my favorite spots i know we looked around a lot i hope you guys enjoyed this video um the landmark to this place will be in the description box below so again i hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as i enjoyed bringing it to you guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time